please, I would like to let you know that whatever you are going through will soon be over. And he says, I will overturn, in the book of Je uh, Ezekiel, I will overturn and overturn until it is no more, until whose right it is, I will give it to him. Listen to me and listen very good. I've got good news for someone tonight. No matter what you are going through, it will soon be over. He said, no, whatever you are going through is just temporal. He said, what we are going through is temporal. Listen, I will like you to focus on the spiritual thing that God has provided for you. In the midst of every difficulty, there's always a way out. In the midst of every tight situation, there's always a way out. Hagar thought that all hope was lost. She wanted to abandon her baby in the wilderness and continue her journey because water has finished. Everything was everything has finished. I don't know what has finished in your life. I don't know. Someone is about to give up. I don't know what is coming to an end in your life. Listen, I said the other day, always make that end a bend. And then she heard a voice that spoke to her. It said, Look beside you, you will see water, a well of water. Go and fetch water for your soup for your son and drink and continue your journey. Listen, God is using what you are going to do to communicate something spectacular to you. You are not going to die in that situation. Listen and listen very good. You are not going to die in that situation. That situation will not kill you. No matter what you are going through, if there is nothing you will go through that in life that will, you know, that is permanent. There is no situation in that that, that is permanent. There is no situation in life if, that is permanent. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, from verse 1, he said, he said, you know, he said, there is a time and a season for everything. A time for and a season. You may be going through a difficult situation. Listen, it will not last. It is, it is only for a while. You will be going through barrenness now. It is, it is only for a while. You will be going through childlessness. It is only for a while. People may mock you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If they can mock, if they can mock Abraham and his wife, how much more you? And then he stood still and still glorifying God. He said, at the end of the day, God is making something good out of this situation. Put on this conversation here. Say, God is working something good in my, in, for my life. God is working something good in my life. God is working something good for my life. God is preparing something good. No, no matter what you are going through, God got your back. Hallelujah. I am speaking to someone tonight. You may, you may be like that, like Hagar, who was going with a child. And all of a sudden, everything seemed to have finished. And then she, 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 she wanted to give up. But the Bible says that the, 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 the angel of God, the Lord came, the angel of the Lord came and tapped her. He said, no, wake up. Wake up. There's